Okay, greetings everyone. This is First and 2073 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4, Power and Revolution, playing the Somalian Challenge. We've begun the assault on the city. Armed pickup truck, 30 extremists. We have uh, six tanks in there and one extremist right now. Let's take a look at what this scenario looks like. They haven't begun moving yet. We're waiting for the infantry. I probably should have uh, waited a little bit longer before I deployed those tanks. There is a rebel base right outside of that city. Two rebel bases have popped up. Where are those missile launchers? I gotta advance them. Tanks and soldiers and commandos. Let's advance the tanks. I'm gonna advance these tanks. Hello. Click. Click. There it is. Good. are a lot of soldiers here. I can probably get 500 soldiers out of there. Or well, why don't I just pull all the soldiers out? Because I think the reinforcements move towards the base when you recruit new soldiers. And I'm hoping, even though we lost the number of soldiers in the last fight, in the last episode, um, in this fight down here against the Total Jihad, there are more Total Jihad bases popping up here. Uh, I'm hoping that those uh, replenishments to those forces will come uh, from the unemployed. Because we do have high employment numbers, so um, my troops are kind of expendable. Don't like to say that, but, you know, that's the, the reality of this video game. So, here we are. <clears throat> I could use more tanks, probably. But right now we're doing pretty well with the res with the uh, equipment that we have. Two bases here. I want to get the... Well, alright, the other... You know what? I, should, I could get more missile launchers is really what I should use. Can I buy missile launchers off the black market? That's the question. We're down to 15 missile launchers. I would like to buy more. Where do I buy missile launchers? Eek. I don't remember where I bought missile launchers. Mm-hmm. No nations available for this product. Guess you can't get them off the black market, can you? Well, you can't get those off the black market either. There's got to be a place to buy these. Oh, I don't remember how to do that. It's been a while since I played. Attack. No, we'll come back to that later. I have soldiers here. I don't want to deploy those soldiers against the, those bases, because last time it didn't go very well. Let's just play this out and see what happens. As we capture these cities, they're probably going to have to retreat anyways, hopefully. The other option is to send my cruiser back up there. Which worked in the past. Or send special forces against them. I want to check that out, too. Employment. Public finances are down. Uh, employment was up. This is... And security is up. That's from the increased funding for polices. And we increased our pol police force. Not polices, police. Hostage takers transmitted a press release. If their demands are not met, they will execute the hostage in 50 days. Hmm. That probably Our wouldn't be good for popularity. Our agents have infiltrated and found the kidnapper's hiding place. Um, it's a house in a hiding suburb Hiding place far is found. Okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> so far, we've been doing well with these uh, hostage rescues. Let's negotiate. Uh oh. Well, we found the place. After their incursion into Let's see what happens with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got one. Come on, take it out. Got two. Very good. All right. I think we might have lost the tank, though. You are not moving. Into the bank. Into the main square. And let's make this go a little quicker. Very good. More reinforcements are arriving. Take the police station. Take the museum. 
take the army base and take the market square. I don't know where my extreme armed extremist is. I think he's with that group. It's somewhere in there. I'm moving pretty quickly. Can't really get a great look. Hostage taken again. We got them again. <laughs> Nuclear disaster in China. Okay, I think we've retaken the city. The city's back under our control. <clears throat> Putting together another refugee convoy. This is only 3,500. We'll have plenty of room at that camp. After their incursion Putland, into territory controlled by the front attack in Puntland. Rebrook problem. I have trouble agreeing with your... Devotion to whatever this guy, Minister of Health. Uh, I hate those cabinet bickerings. I am at 100% popularity, 6.4, with another hostage rescue. This is great. I don't know which one of these is helping with hostage rescue, but we are doing really well. Security of Head of State is up. Who's that? Drug Force? Nope. I don't know which one it is. But for some reason, we have really good rescue teams. For now, at least. All right, now I want to see if um, our special forces can maybe take out some of those bases again. Twenty-one commandos. Let's launch the special force raid against that thing, against that Putland base, and see if this is successful. If there's actually any type of uh, success in this special force mission, special forces mission. And they just kind of disappeared there. So I don't know if that was actually successful or not. There are three of them here. You can take out the one out of range. Let's take out that one. This base is almost protecting this city. So that'll be a tough one to capture. But so far, Putman taken. What is that? What is that? We have taken control of the Putman Freedom Front. Putman taken. What does that mean? Does that mean we won? Ooh, that means we got the province back. Beautiful. Puntland Rebels are in retreat. This is a huge success. I wonder if this is going to increase our income at all. Botswana offer rejected. I'm not even worried about that. I don't even know why I went for it. Probably shouldn't have because it actually probably hurts our diplomatic relations. We have taken back the province. Missile launches right out of range. What about you? Here come some 38,000 tanks, or 38 tanks. Terrorism, assassination of somebody. Okay, let's advance these tanks. See if they can't take out that base. I should have sent my infantry. 1,000 soldiers. To the next city. <clears throat> 3,300 refugees. Don't run them over, please. And nothing. That base disappeared. Let's move against that base. Where is our infantry? Come on!
Okay, I think that calibration should have worked. I wanted to see if our tax revenue increased. Not really. But we got something. We hit something there. Care for refugees. Took out some armed extremists, it looks like. What are their numbers looking like now? 78 armed pickup trucks, 54 tanks, 7,300 of those guys. Uh, I wonder if we can renegotiate. Let's try and negotiate with uh, opponents. If we took back the, the province, actions. Proposed peace treaty with a terrorist group. Not you. Freedom Front. Rebel organization disarms and becomes a legal political party. Let's see what they do. Of course, the legal political party doesn't really have any power since parliament is just a consultative body. It's awful. This assassination no, no, it is awful, I guess. Let's move these tanks into the city. And we'll take another city from Poland. Three cities, four cities away from taking the entire entirety of all cities. I think once I have the cities, they'll definitely surrender. Hopefully. Hopefully, definitely. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Tanks are moving in. Infantry. The battle has begun. Uh, agreement negotiation. Interlocker has refused. Okay, let's go to war. Let's start the fight. Resume conflict. They have refused. It will be their downfall. Yeah, let's relocate on that side of the street. And where are our guys? There they are. Take the bank. And this ambush is in a nice position for those rebel forces when they get there. Bank has been taken. Now let's go ahead and take. Actually, I'm gonna wait here in the bank as bait for uh, this column right here. Because they're gonna just get barraged by these tanks over here. Slow it down a little bit. Move this tank into position. A little bit right there. Range continuous shelling. Here comes a target. Fire. Fire. It's not sure. Oh, there it is. Okay. You don't have to get that close. Oh, I hate this. Shouldn't have to get that close. Shoot it. Shoot him. Okay, that was tedious. To the museum. To the police station. Let's 
speed things up. You guys take Army Headquarters. Okay, regional problem building, and that would be that. That would be it. Rebels are in retreat again. And it looks like we're going to take another city. Market Square, Main Square, Rebel Regional Problem Building is all that's left. They're retreating out of their zone. Refugee convoy of only 6,000. I got plenty of room. City's taken. Back under our control. Okay. Three more cities left to go. And there's another base. Press play. Let's recover, recoup for a little bit. And I think that might be the end of another episode. So again, let me know what you guys think. The 2018 add-on version of GD, uh, Geopolitical Simulator 4 is available, and I'm probably going to buy it. hope that doesn't screw up the game, but I think I can wait to download it until I finish these two series on Somalia and uh, Ireland. But of course, I will be looking for ideas for the 2018 add-on. I think there's some things like cyber warfare and uh, space race and everything else added to that. Seems to be pretty cool. There seems to be some cool new dynamics. So that will be coming soon on the channel. Expect that soon. Uh, any recommendations, feel free to post them down below. And uh, again, if you contribute on Patreon, your recommendations will be taken as a priority. Thanks again to Dominic, the uh, patron of this series. I hope you continue to patron me in uh, 2018. And anyone else who wants to see more videos and more frequency videos, feel free to post and patron on Patreon, the link will be in the description. And I should be starting some Twitch series sometime soon. So that link is also in the description as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.